studied. So what does that look like? Um, so I studied the native bees. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of research on the European honeybee, but not much about native bees. So my research has been looking at the biodiversity of native bees, how we can conserve them mm -hmm. in urban areas, the impact of honeybees on native bees as an introduced species, uh, the response of native bees to bushfires, and also identifying and describing new species of native bees. Wow, the bees are so lucky to have you. And <laughs> you've all noticed, obviously, we have two beautiful bee outfits here. Yes. <laughs> I hope it'd be obvious. <laughs> yeah, very, very passionate inside and out. Now, you mentioned the native um, bees. So we kind of hear a lot about honeybees. What's the difference? Either of you can answer this. And what's the difference between a native bee and the honeybee? Well, I think Kit would probably be the best qualified person to answer that, um, seeing as you have a beautiful PhD and a doctorate. So, go on. So, our native bees are so different to honeybees. Almost everything that you've learnt about mm -hmm. bees mm -hmm. doesn't apply to our native bees. Mm -hmm. So, they most of them don't live in colonies. Most of them don't have a queen mm -hmm. and workers. They're solitary mm -hmm. um, or semi-social. <laughs> they can range in size from two millimetres, mm -hmm. so really tiny, wow. up to <laughs> two and a half centimetres. Most of them don't make honey. Some of them are super specialised and they're only 